Hello, in this video we will build a web chat application using Spring Boot for backend with WebSockets and React.js for frontend. Here we start from start spring.io and let's create our bundle. We use Spring Boot 3.0, Spring Web, WebSocket and also Lombok. Here we can download our bundle and also we go to Maven repository and use SOC.js that provides a Java API for interacting with SOC.js servers. Also we need Stomp.js that provides support for the Stomp protocol and allow to handle Stomp messages on the server. So let's start by creating new package and configure class. This code is a configuration file for a chat application. It sets up a communication between different parts of application using WebSocket. WebSocket allows real-time communication between a server and a client. The configuration file ensures that messages can be exchanged between different parts of chat application. It also enables cross-origin communication. That means that chat application can be hosted on one server while being accessed from another server or web page. Configure message broker configures the message broker, which is responsible for delivering messages to the correct recipients. Here it enables a simple broker that uses the slash topic prefix for message destinations and the slash app prefix for application destinations. Register stomp endpoints registers the stomp endpoints which are the entry points for WebSocket communication. It defines an endpoint URL slash WS and allows connections from any regions. Let's also create entity for our messages. Here we add Lombok annotations, no arcs constructor, all arcs constructor, data and to string. Here we'll have link name, message. Let's also create new package for controller. Controller class chat controller will handle WebSocket messages with destination slash chat. When a message is received, it sets the timestamp for the message and broadcasts it to all subscribers who have subscribed to the topic slash messages destination. So this would be the end of our backend part. And let's proceed with React.js and VS Code. Here we should create new React application. We use npx create React app command and let's name it chat UI. Then let's move to this chat UI folder and install required dependencies. We will need SOC.js. HTTP does not support real-time communication and SOC.js provides real-time connection between the client and the server. SOC.js client, it provides a set of functions and methods that simplify the process of working with WebSockets. Stomp, 
JS, Stump is a messaging protocol that defines a simple way for clients and servers to communicate with each other. A client can send a stop message to the server with the destination of a specific chat room. And UI library for prepared components, material UI. Let's start our application. And we also need to update index.js. And we see that it works. Let's remove everything from app.js file and create new functional component. Here we import hooks, use date and use effect. We also import stump.js to and SOC.js to communicate with our backend part. And let's use use state states to for messages. One message nickname. So we use use state to store our data. We use also use effect hook in React to establish a WebSocket connection to set up a message subscription. Const socket creates a new socket socjs instance, which is a WebSocket client that enables communication between the client side and the server side, WebSocket endpoint. Stump over creates a stump client over the socket connection. Stump is a messaging protocol commonly used with WebSocket for real-time communication. Connect establish, establishes a connection to the server using the client connection method. The empty object represents any custom header that you may want to send during the connection. Inside the connection callback client subscribe subscribes to the topic messages destination on the server. This means that the client is interested in receiving messages messages published in published to this destination. And also we use message callback function that is executed when a message is received on the subscribed destination. The message object represents the received message and we parse it and update state variable. We also use to function handle message and handle nickname change for update of the state of our nickname and message. Overall, this code establishes a WebSocket connection using SOC.js and Stump subscribes to a specific topic on the server to receive messages and updates the messages state with each received message. So here we map our messages to display them in the chat window and we display them inside list items. We also use avatar to show the first letter of the nickname, we use char add to show the first letter. Here we use components from Material AI. It's already prepared components for avatar, typography for font. and list item.
Let's also align our items in the center and create new text field where user can enter the message and nickname. So this text field will be designed for nickname and we use value nickname from our state nickname. And the same text field will be provided for message and we use state message from our use state webhook. And we also use button to send messages. And on click we will handle function send message. So when we start our application, with, we also need to import our components from Material UI. And let's speed up this process. Also, we need to install NPM net. It's a core module in Node.js that provides functionality for creating network servers and clients. And start our backend application. So backend application with Spring Boot started and also frontend application also started. We have no errors and Let's write our nickname and message. So we see a message from Tom and let's open new window and write new message from John. So here we see that messages from Tom and John are visible. And our application works well. So thank you.